lost emails. Obamacare deleted emails. That is the charge against Marilyn Tavener, who played a big part in Obamacare's disastrous rollout. It's reported that she told an aide, just delete an email exchange between the White House and the Department of Health and Human Services. National Review's Gillian Melcher broke this story, and she's with us this Monday morning. Gillian, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. Right, let me get this right. This is Marilyn Tavener. She runs the agency that oversees Obamacare, that oversees the rollout. That's right. She says to an aide, hey, delete that email between me and the White House. Yeah, well, the story on this has been kind of changing because at first uh, CMS was saying, you know, these healthcare.gov emails, some of them may have gone missing because Marilyn Tavener has a Microsoft Outlook inbox and she needs to keep it below the inbox level. Um, now there's an email coming out saying where she's instructing a subordinate, hey, please delete this exchange with the this White House. specific email. Exactly. Not deleting for the purposes of saving space on the computer, but deleting because you don't want that email in existence. Well, we don't know that much about the context, but I think her deleting emails to begin with. But we know who it's with, too. Exactly. Yeah. And I think her deleting emails to begin with isn't a good sign. I mean, as head of CMS, she is federally tasked with protecting records. She's supposed to be the one ensuring that they're safeguarded. So I think in best case scenario, she's not fulfilling those obligations. She's also ignoring the national uh, public records laws, national um, administration of records policies. Now, that, now that's, mm -hmm. that is important. Is it a personal email on her personal Microsoft Outlook account, or is this an internal email within HHS? Well, you know, either way it wouldn't matter, because if she's using that correspondence for public purposes to do her job, she's supposed to be protecting them and saving them. Now, she ah, is ultimately okay. where the buck stops for doing that. So if she's going to say that she didn't know that this is just something that routinely happens, I don't think she has a lot of excuses here. Now, the significance is mm -hmm. Lois Lerner lost two years' worth mm -hmm. of emails, which was supposed between her, the IRS, and the White House, and or the campaign to re-elect re the president. Mm -hmm. That was the nature and the, the track of the emails that were lost. With Marilyn Tavener, it's the same track. It's the, it's the email going to the White House and coming from the White House, I take it. Well, we, know that, going to. we know that it's one email, at least, that she was asking to be deleted that involved the but what I think is a little bit more flagrant with the IRS here is it's the admission that she actively deleted it. Now, if she unlawfully did that, you know, that's a felony. You face three years in prison for obliterating records, mutilating them, concealing them unlawfully. So if it turns out that that's a public record and she did it, she may have broken the law. But are we just being nitpicking? I don't think so. I mean, the Obama administration has said repeatedly, hey, we're the most transparent administration in history. If this is what that transparency looks like, boy, they've got a problem. Okay, how, I'm not going to ask <laughs> your source for this, mm -hmm. <laughs> because you're not going to tell me. How did you find out about this? Well, you know, Congress is actually the one that found out about it. And I think what's notable here with the Obama administration saying it's the most transparent, Congress is coming out saying that they're having a hard time getting records. Last week, 47 inspectors general wrote a letter saying that the government wasn't giving them records that they've requested. And I know as a journalist, I've had a heck of a time getting records. So if this administration is claiming to be so transparent, why can't anyone get crucial records about key policies? All right. Uh, Gillian Melcher, as always, thank you very much for bringing the story to us. Thank we you. Appreciate it. Thank you.